I get it. Yeah, I get it. You feel down in the dumps. <laughs> Completely wiped, worn out after a long, hard day at work. Kids about to work on your last nerve. You just want to crawl up in the corner. You just want to find a bed. You want to find a mattress. You want to find a pellet and just go to sleep. You have absolutely no energy or desire to do anything else this day. And then, <laughs> and then, your phone rings. <laughs> it's your girl or it's your homeboy on the other line. And she says, girl, I just came into some money. You want to go to the mall with me? My treat. And just a minute ago, you had absolutely no desire, no energy to do anything. And immediately, you perk up. Do I want to go? When and where do I need to be at? She gives you the information. You get up and get dressed. And you go off and have a great time. And you get everything that you want. Homeboy like, bro. You know quarantine just ended. NBA season, they taking fans again. I got tickets, bro. Hard tickets to get. But you were just worn out. Didn't want to do nothing. You like, bro, what time we leaving? But I want you guys to understand. Whether you believe it or not, motivation lives in you. Motivation lives in us. It's there. Sometimes life gets in the way. But we will find the energy to do the things that we really want to do. So you want to know how to get motivated? You want to know how to stay motivated? You have to find a way to bottle up whatever it is that gets you excited, that gets you moving, that gets you going, no matter how you feel. So I got three words for you. When you don't feel like doing anything, when you're worn out, when you know you have a desire to go to the next level. Do it anyway. Because where your focus goes, your energy flows. So if you know you can be dead tired and somebody sparks your interest with something that you like to do, you're instantly motivated, you gotta bottle that up. You have to trick yourself. And whatever it is you need to do to push yourself, whether it's working out, whether it's working on a business plan, whether it's building a relationship, whatever it is that you need to spend time doing, if you need to get motivated, the motivation lives in you. You just have to tap into it. So get started. Do it anyway, even when you don't feel like it. And that's how you get motivated. You're like, how do I stay motivated? Hopefully you brush your teeth every day. Hopefully twice a day. Hopefully you take a bath at least one time a day. Because guess what? After you brush your teeth, you're going to eat something. You probably need to floss them and brush them again. After you live for an entire day, you probably need to take another bath. So as you can see, or as you should know, staying clean doesn't last very long, and neither does motivation. So in order for you to stay motivated, you have to immerse yourself in motivation. You have to become one with motivation. I know for me, every day when I wake up, I throw something motivating into my ear. I start my day off being fed, empowering content, empowering music, because it puts me in the mindset, it gets me in the mood to get busy living, to get busy taking action. And you need to do the exact same thing. You gotta tap into your reason. You gotta tap into your why. And you most definitely, have to avoid those mood killers and those dream stealers. So if you show me your friends, I'll show you your future. So are you hanging around people that are empowering, that are motivating you, that are inspiring you to be great, that are pushing you to be great, that are holding you accountable? See, the bad news is motivation doesn't last very long. But the good news, the great news is motivation lives in us. So you just have to tap into your motivation. And once you get started, come up with your plan and execute and execute and execute. Because once you're motivated, 
And you know how to consistently stay motivated? Adversity better watch out. Setbacks better watch out. Failures better watch out. Because now, you're not only climbing over them, you running through them. You knocking them out. Because you're determined and well on your way to making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go. What up, my Wednesday fam? It's your boy, Freddie Fry. And I'm super excited because my Make Every Day a Wednesday book has officially been released. If you're trying to win every day of your life, this is the book for you. I need your support. I need you to click the link in the description or go to freddiefry.com slash book page to get your autographed copy. I thank you in advance.